Jack Taylor? Uh, yes. Mr. Jack Taylor, the photographer. How did you get in here? The wedding photographer. No, I'm your man. Uh, was the door open? Jack Taylor, the photographer who takes the pictures of weddings at City Hall. No, actually, the weddings take place at the office of the city clerk. Uh, did the super let you in? He's not supposed to. Taylor, the wedding photographer at the City Marriage Bureau who officiates at wedding ceremonies. Uh, no, that would be my wife, Jackie. Jackie officiates at wedding ceremonies. <laughs> but, but, but this is you. Uh, come say I do in a New York minute. Ah, uh, guilty. work this uh, Mary in a minute? Well, it's the usual thing, you know, uh, exchange of vows, exchange of rings, groom kisses the bride. Actually, it's more like uh, 90 seconds. Details, I need details. Uh-huh. Are you asking for yourself or a family member? Uh, does it make a difference? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to figure out how, how I can... Uh, It's the office of the city clerk, marriage bureau. Okay, so you know how it works. Well, it's all pretty easy. It starts with a marriage license. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, hold it. No funny business. <laughs> Our guidebook. Uh, easy step-by-step -step guide to I do. Everything you need to know is in here. Wrote it myself. Well, my wife and I wrote it. I'm not reading any guidebooks. Uh, right, yeah. Um, details. The Marriage Bureau opens at 8.30. That's Monday through Friday. You want to get there early. It get, can get pretty busy, especially at lunchtime. Uh, and, and you are there to take photographs before, during, and after the ceremony? Well, I've photographed hundreds, elopements, destination weddings, this morning, a couple uh, flew in from Rome, uh, Paula and Dominic. You'd be surprised how many couples want to get married in New York. Oh, you're familiar with it. You know all the uh, ins and outs, the uh, nooks and crannies. It's all about love. New York? About love. Well, living here, you may not notice, but folks from other places are overwhelmed. Yeah, overwhelmed by the love, and the parks, and skyscrapers, the bridges, the yellow cabs. You're the famous photographer to the stars. You were on the six o'clock news last night. You surrounded by TV celebrities. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, well, it's a little after four. Uh, the bureau is closed for the day. Uh, why don't I get you started? We can go downstairs to the copy shop. They have a computer. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no coffee shop computers. And no downstairs. Person to person. That's the way we'll do things. Understand? Mm, in person, of course. The license has to be picked up in person. There's a 24-hour waiting period. We can start the process on the computer in the copy shop downstairs. And now uh, you perform the ceremony. Oh, that's my wife, Jackie. Uh, she's a certified New York elopement officiant. Jack and Jackie. Uh, a happy married couple that enjoy being surrounded by happy couples. Mm, that's a little too much happy. What's happier than weddings? about the bride and how you feel about the groom. Yes, well, um, that about sums it up, if there isn't anything else. Oh, there is something else. Uh, right, uh, celebration? Oh, after the ceremony, you want to go somewhere. Celebrate a glass of bubbly, a few oysters. There's a great choice of restaurants within a block or two. Uh, I, I made a list of uh, favorites. You don't want any lists. The Hotel Brooklyn Bridge is a popular choice. It's a short ride on the number four train, a sort of uh, mini moon destination. Cute mini moon. 
go to the office tomorrow morning. You'll see glowing faces. Um, green. And will we see the glowing face of uh, Mildred Woodson when we go to the marriage office tomorrow morning? Did you say when we go? Mildred said you're the best. You are the one she wants to take the wedding pictures. Mildred? About five, two, uh, short, curly brown hair, a large mole on her chin, a uh, beauty mark. I'm sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. <clears throat> she spent a month at the uh, bridal boot camp in the Poconos, lost so much weight, none of her clothes fit. <laughs> I'll give my appointment to uh, book a quick look. You know, it's the pills that worry me. Morning, new night pills, yellow, orange, green. <laughs> And she never eats anything. Uh huh. I don't say anything. I don't want to get into an argument. It's just best to go along. Right. I, I totally agree. You can't always go along, can you? No. Y yes. Well, I'm afraid you got to. Your number was in her appointment. Fuck it, it's tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Actually, there aren't appointments. Couples arrive, uh, register at the main desk, get a number. Get a number? Like at the bakery? Mm, more like the DMV. And, and it, stand in line? <laughs> Whoa, there's a comfortable bench, uh, shade, soothing shade of green. Uh, the happy couple sit and watch the numbers flash on the electronic board. Back to that happy again. Oh. That's about it. Now, now you have to. Uh... <laughs> Not so fast, Jack Taylor, wedding photographer. My wife will worry if I'm not home at the usual time. Let her worry. See, I'm a guy of regular habits, and. Uh... Are you going to help me willingly? I am. Um, exactly what is it you want me to do? Stop Mildred's marriage. But I, I don't know, Mildred. Hudson Research Lab will close. Scientific research will end. All Mildred's work will... Who will save them? It's the precious bees! Bees? I don't know anything about bees. Of course you don't. I need your help. There isn't anyone else I can turn to. Mildred's mother, Angela, was on her way, but them... A plane mysteriously crashed. Thank goodness, Angela was rescued. She survived the emergency surgery, but um, still, still touch and go. Mildred's father, William, is in a wheelchair, crippled from the stroke he suffered last December. Physical therapy isn't helping. Her brother, David, lost years ago in the Jungles of South America, looking for Grandfather Woodson's lost will. Her sisters don't care! What are you talking about? And I don't know, Mildred. No, Mildred! I deny it, Jack Cable, wedding photographer. The pictures are here in this magazine. Uh, pictures? Oh, pictures of Daughters of the Delaware. Daughters of the Delaware. Is this a favorite TV show? There is nothing funny. Charles Sherman is a secret agent from the pesticide lobbyist cartel. He fought in love with Mildred. He wants to destroy the bees. He, he wants to destroy Mildred. <laughs> okay, you got me. Got me good. This is a publicity stunt for the show, right? A, a hidden camera thing. I have known that girl since she was a baby. Left on the front steps of the... Oh, right. Mildred is the adopted daughter. She's been on the show forever. Uh, I have got to protect her from that evil Charles Sherman. Oh, Samantha Simmons plays that part. Great gal. Oh, going to help me. That wedding must not happen. Uh, yeah, right. Why don't we go across the street to the cafe? It's a comfortable place to talk this over. I'll call my wife. She'll know what to do. Ask her 
to bring one of those long black robes that was used in the choir, courtroom, and commencement scenes in 